us today who want to have come again to to uh, excite you with some moment of action and today we specifically want to deal with how to to defend punches punching and at the same time you you defend the punch and then you can also counter in motion as you are uh, defending the punch your attack is coming you counter at the same time while dodging and countering so let's let's see how it goes just watch out and see the moves i, I bet you're going to uh, going to enjoy it stay tuned um but let me quickly remind us again that you should always remember to subscribe hit the bell as we come up with new exciting actions thank you all right now we are in action now first thing we want to see how this is this is an opponent coming at me with punches so he has multiple punches i don't know but he has series of punches he wants to throw at me now my way to stop him from or defend those punches depends on what i am going to do what i the way i'm going to i'm going to stop or defend or dodge the punch coming will help me to take a further action to either stop him or to counter him but first of all let's see the first jab now from here he takes the first action now see the way i sunk in go now why did i take this move i could have as well do this go see even though i have taken my body away from the punch he didn't get me but this way would help me would allow me to counter him i am already at a disadvantage position he can from here now furthermore with another punch like that okay now for me to be able to frustrate him means i have to go this way i sink him all right now sinking him i have been able to frustrate the punch and it has he has passed now i am i am I'm left with a very comfortable position to counter him now from here i can decide to do this the counter goes okay now let's see the action at once go uh. Can you see that? That is how it goes. He comes, I go, bam. I dug out and I counter at the same time. I'm left with this and I'm left with this. So automatically, I frustrate him. I never know whether he has more than that one punch to take, but my action has been able to alter whatever multiple punches he had in mind. Okay, let's assume I don't want to stop him immediately. I just want to see him finish up whatever he has in mind. Now let's see go. One and go. Two. And he completes it. He go. Three. Okay. Now he takes that again. One, two, and three. Alright. Now, why? You see, from this action shows he had multiple punches to take. Okay, now let's see from the previous explanation let's see how to counter with the multiple punches we had we have seen the first frustrating punch he came with the first one i frustrated it now i want to see how i will take one we we'll take two i counter we'll take three and i counter okay now let let's start from the one you go one that's a counter two that's a counter three and that's a counter okay all right now from that if I actually bring the first one, bam. Now I will not counter this so that I allow him come the next one. Now come the next one, that's when I counter. Now by the time I do this, now go, I counter here. That's where it goes. Okay? Now with this country, we'll not allow him to come the next one because we can take him out. Okay, all right, so 
Now, let's say now we've allowed one and allowed two and three. Pam! Okay. Which means you have just decided to choose where and what part of the punch you choose to counter. I, you decide not to counter this, you allowed it. I decide not to counter this, but you choose to counter it so that he might not further come back again because you allowed him to take one and two and since he has taken one two he might not end with three so you choose to stop him by that three now take your three go so that he will not come again because he might still come if you allow him so that is how to stop punches so I hope with this you've been able to understand what I am. We are trying to make you understand that you can frustrate punches to stop whoever is attacking you, not minding the number of punches he had in mind to come at you to, or to take on you. But if you give him the opportunity, because if I allow him, he can take more than three. And at the end of the day, he will multiple. That is called what like that he will come and come and come and come on you so you have to find a way to frustrate by doing that now let's take it for the last time from i'm going to show each step but i'll take the the, the, the stopping the counter each one the counter each one ready go Pam, then go two then go Pam. that is it good all right okay we are going to pause there I hope you you can learn this, take a partner and learn it. It will be it will work out and it will be fine. If you have not subscribed, please do subscribe to our channel.